Good evening everybody, Tommy TTK here. We are playing some Unreal Tournament pre-alpha to test out this red switch mechanical keyboard in arena shooters. Very important to emphasize the pre-alpha here. This game is under ongoing development and a lot of the graphics and mechanics in the game are either placeholder, incomplete or prone to totally change at any time. Do not form any definitive opinions on this game just yet, especially when it comes to visuals, but I'll talk more about the game itself in future videos. I wanted to see how I get on using my red switch mechanical keyboard in a very fast paced twitch shooter and shooters do not come much faster than UT. I'm also using a somewhat unconventional control setup here with the spacebar as my primary fire button. If you watched my previous video, check the card in the top right for that, you'll see that I measured the response time of mechanical switches versus membrane and found there was an improvement. I have used the spacebar for primary fire in games before, but by doing so I was giving myself roughly a 6 millisecond disadvantage compared to my mouse clicks. Now with this new red switch keyboard that latency difference is cut to about 3 milliseconds. So I think the spacebar as the fire button becomes a little more viable again. So given the spacebar does still have this latency disadvantage compared to using the mouse, why even do it at all? Well, we'll get to that all in good time. First, let's talk about dodging. In this game, you could perform a quick lateral leap a few meters in any direction or off a wall. This can be performed by double tapping one of the movement direction keys or by pressing a dedicated dodge button while holding the desired direction. I have to say, using a red switch keyboard actually makes the double tap a little trickier, at least at first. Red switches are entirely linear. There is no haptic feedback at the point of actuation. Couple this with the fact red switches actuate near the top of the press rather than the bottom, you can run into a few errors when you're first getting used to them. You may not have allowed the key to fully return to its off state before engaging the second tap, so the game interprets a single long key press instead of two short ones. In UT, that means your character simply does not perform the dodge and just strafes instead. However, once you get used to the way these keys work, you can perform a faster double tap by deliberately not pressing the key all the way down, just a quick vibration of your finger on the top of the key and you'll get your double tap registered super fast. Now the good thing about this new UT is the introduction of the dedicated dodge key. This means you don't have to use the double tap method, however, given UT requires so many controls compared to most FPSs, I still find that in some scenarios I still want to be able to perform the double tap if other fingers are otherwise engaged performing more urgent tasks. I think I can get used to the red switches, but for this game you may prefer something with a little more resistance or actuation feedback like brown or blue switches. So how about that spacebar for fire? A good reason to use spacebar for fire in a game like, say, Counter-Strike is it can really help you track a target while shooting, especially with pistols. You need to click for every shot and constantly clicking with your finger whilst moving your wrist can interrupt your tracking. To be honest, in UT this isn't so much of an issue as there aren't really any single shot or semi-automatic weapons. Separating your shooting and aiming hands may help however with some of the hit scan weapons like the shock rifle, sniper rifle or maybe the minigun where you'll be holding down the fire button a lot. Really I think the main priority in setting controls for UT is to achieve a good balance across both hands. Given every weapon actually requires two buttons for primary and secondary fire then using spacebar as primary isn't really replacing mouse 1, rather it's replacing perhaps mouse 2. I'm using mouse 1 as my secondary fire button, which I use almost as much as the primary fire on spacebar. Some weapons require you to combine primary and secondary fire in combos, like the shock rifle, so using both right and left hands to perform those combos means I'm never performing all of the same kind of command on the same hand. From my test run, playing some CTF and deathmatch with the spacebar as my main fire button, however, I can say for certain that I didn't feel at any kind of disadvantage nor any particular advantage when aiming with most weapons. For this game, it's really just a matter of preference and making sure you don't overburden one hand over the other with too many controls. I like to use both hands to perform as even a distribution as possible and spread movement, combat and weapon selection controls across both hands and I felt very comfortable shooting with spacebar and mouse one for primary and secondary fire. If you've played UT or other arena shooters and know what you're talking about then please share comments, share your thoughts on different control setups you've tried. Um, have I got my controls wrong? Have I made a glaring error that can be improved upon? Maybe, I don't know. If you've never really played this style of FPS but are interested then please comment with any questions you have, perhaps about how they differ from games like Counter-Strike or Battlefield. I'll reply with my thoughts or maybe someone with even more experience of this kind of game can answer you.